Ready? About 2.30. Did you see that big old bird over here? Did you see that big bird? Come here. Come here. Come here. Black jaw, come here. There's a great big old hawk over here a while ago. Hawk was over there at the wash tub drinking water. And I walked around the corner and I scared him. He flew off. I didn't know he was sitting there. I didn't even see him. He was about two and a half foot tall, great big one, two foot tall, two and a half top foot tall bird, a hawk. You coming? Come on. You coming? Come on. What is it? You don't like my shirt or something? <laughs> he don't like that shirt. He don't like that shirt. It's got too many colors in it. He didn't like that shirt. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. I backed up to right here. Come on. Come on. I beat on a boat. You coming? Come on. Come on. I got something to do. I just got through rebuilding my wheelbarrow. I bought a wheelbarrow in 1996. I bought a wheelbarrow. And the handles, the wooden, wooden handles, they finally rotted away and broke and all. And I bought brand new handles for it and all. And I just got through fixing it. I still got to do a couple of things to make it perfect. But I think I did a, a half-assed job on it. It wasn't perfect, but I know one thing. My back is killing me. All the muscles in my back are pulled tight. From bending over, drilling and sawing and doing everything to get those things to fit. Mother rebuilt my wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow I bought, if you go to Ace Hardware or Home Depot, they 200 over two hundred dollars for the wheelbarrow. The one that I bought in 1996, and I think I paid something like fifty dollars for it in 1996. But it's in real good condition now and everything looks brand new. You coming on? Come on. I ain't talking about you. <laughs> he said you was talking about a wheelbarrow. He didn't know if you was talking about him or not. Talking about a wheelbarrow. You talking about him? You talking about that squirrel right there, wheelbarrow? <laughs> that the lock jaw was a wheelbarrow. If he had a wheelbarrow, first thing he would do, he 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 he'd put pecans in. <laughs> he'd load that wheelbarrow up with pecans. He was thinking about it. He that song. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I'd hammer in the evening. He was thinking about that song. If he had a wheelbarrow, he'd roll that wheelbarrow in the morning. He'd roll it in the afternoon too. <laughs> he'd eat pecans. He'd eat pecans out of that wheelbarrow in the morning. He'd eat pecans out the in the wheelbarrow in the middle of the day. And, 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 and pecans at the middle of the night time too. Nobody looking. Locked jaw right there. He's only about two feet from me. I'm going to stick my hand all the way out. Watch this. Come in. Don't run off. Now, as far as I can reach with my hand now. <laughs> I scared that squirrel. I put the scare on that squirrel. What you got that thing in your mouth for? Like a cigarette or something? Or like a cigar? I'm gonna stop this video. My back is killing me. I just got through rebuilding my wheelbarrow. My wheelbarrow. Barrow, barrow, however you say it. And, uh, the handlebar, the handles was rotting out, rot, rotting, rotting on it. And I replaced the handles. I think it was something like $40, $42 with the handles and the new nuts and bolts, $42 to rebuild my wheelbarrow. But like I said, the wheelbarrow cost over $200 if I had to go buy a new one. And mine looks brand new right now. It'll last me another 10, 20 years. <laughs> I told that squirrel that wheelbarrow go haul pecans for another 10, 20 years. That pecan's going to be hauling, 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 hauling pecans for another 10, 20 years. That pecan... That I'm going to be hauling pecans in 10, 20 years.
for Lockjaw. Gonna do it for Lockjaw too. He'd do that for Lockjaw. He'd only do it for Lockjaw too. He would no, he would not do it for them raccoons. Only for Lockjaw. Lockjaw don't even, he, he Lockjaw don't know what you're talking about. He tried to get two of them in his mouth. Oh man, I tell you what, them muscles across my back, up and down my back is they are pulling, they are tight, and they are hurting bad. I took a couple of aspirins. The, um, I don't know if it was Tylenol, Advil, or something other there that has uh, something like 600 to 650 milligrams of aspirin or whatever they got, Tylenol or whatever they was. I don't even know what it was now. But uh, I took two of those, so I got 1,200 milligrams of, I mean 12, uh, 12. 1300 grams, milligrams, whatever it was, of some kind of aspirin or something in me. I don't think it's aspirin, it's something else. I don't know if it was Tylenol or Bear, it wasn't Bear, or not, what, NyQuil. It was, uh, it was one of them. That squirrel, he said, You just keep right on talking. If he run out of pecans, he'll let you know he run out of pecans. You run out of pecans. That squirrel right there, he's going to put both all, feet, all four feet on the ground, and he's going to make a stance. He's going to tell you quick, like, hey, I need more pecans. What happened? What happened? You fool? You tired of me? <laughs> that squirrel tired of you running your mouth? He tired of you running your mouth. All right, there he goes. All right, he left that many pecans. I got to go sit down. My back is killing me. Stop this video. Stop.